Since we re-released the film about um, EA Carey and Carey's Pipe and Tobacco Shop uh, recently, we've had a number of um, inquiries and requests to um, look in a bit more detail at some of the unique pipes, uh, the antiques and the um, and the one-offs, the originals that we uh, that we actually have here at EA Carey. Um, so I thought I'd uh, run a bit of a series uh, of YouTube films looking at um, each in turn. The first one that I've um, picked out uh, is one I don't think actually appeared in the film, but it's a two-part um, pipe, um, age unknown unfortunately, a uh, very simple mouthpiece, wooden, wooden stem uh, with uh, cork added to the bottom to uh, create a better seal uh, and a very simple carved mouthpiece joined onto the main body of the pipe uh, with this um, bracelet style chain. Now the bowl itself is a beautiful um, meerschaum, um, unsmoked but, um, but showing coloration simply due to age. Um, a deep bowl, uh, a beautiful, um, a beautiful carving, um, shaped to look like um, an acorn with the smooth, uh, the smooth top. Uh, the carved base of the acorn, and then just quite simply beautiful um, detailing uh, around what what is uh, the branch with these uh, these leaves. And I don't know if uh, you can pick it up on this, but with uh, real fine detailing um, and the veins of the leaf and so on, a really stunning stunning piece. Um, it's quite um, it's quite a good weight for meerschaum. You can feel it's quite um, it's quite solid meerschaum. But like I say, unfortunately, no markings at all or dating on the actual pipe. Um, the one clue we do have, which is a bit of a giveaway, um, fortunately, is that in the actual um, case, uh, there is a stamp, Special Barlings London Make. Um, but unfortunately, no date. Uh, so we'd be um, delighted to find out when it was uh, when it was made. If anyone's got any information, uh, please do um, let us know.